medical imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677. Advanced Medical Imaging, located at 7601 Pioneers Boulevard. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing a replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Discover a healthier, happier you with weight loss professional nutrition. We are not about quick fixes, but real, sustainable change. With our advanced nutrition plans, expertly designed by our certified nutritionists, we're with you at every step on your weight loss journey. Step into the world of well-being with weight loss professional nutrition, where we believe in the power of smart diet choices. Visit weightlossprofessionalnutrition.com today or call 800-597-3991 to get 30% off your first month and start your transformation. A new you is just a click away or a call to 800-597-3991. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. This is On the Block with Stricken Austin. Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here. school basketball coaching legend and Duke basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America, on air and online at theticketfm.com. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. A happy Tuesday to you and yours. Appreciate you making On the Block a part of your day. I'm Austin Norman, joined as always by the Husker Hall of Famer, nine-year NBA vet, the man who's going to be in the arena tonight, Mr. Eric Strickland, ahead of Nebraska and Purdue. Late tip-off, you're going to the game, make sure you get there. Huskers are going to need help getting their premier win of the season, and we'll talk more about that as we go throughout the show. Big thanks to Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul for uh for sponsoring tonight's uh the not tonight's game for sponsoring this afternoon's show um we do on the text line uh have two lower bowl tickets available tonight uh dean is giving two tickets away so stay tuned next segment we will give those two tickets away and make sure we get two more husker fans in the building for the game against purdue again we'll talk more about that game coming up here in just a minute but first trick we turn our attention down south to Houston NRG Stadium, the site of last night's national championship game. You saw the Michigan Wolverines take down Washington 34 to 13. Old Big can, Ten beats New Big Ten. Can I give a quick shout out? Yeah, what you got? Shout out to the two gentlemen because uh, Streaky might not be here right now. <laughs> like, you know, like still with us, still yeah, alive. Yeah, but. One of them was a listener. He, you know, he 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 knew who I was, and he was like, hey, "Man, I listen to you guys on the ticket." Man, shout out to all the listeners on the ticket. But shout out to him because to both of them because literally it was ice. And, and you know, when you get on the side roads, you get on the main roads, it's fine. But you mm-hmm. get on the side roads, and it was literally ice underneath the snow. And so I kind of slid into a spot where I couldn't move and and kind of get into a back and forth. And, you know, I came from Florida, so I had a two-wheel drive. I didn't need a four-wheel or four, you know, uh, front, uh, front-wheel nothing. drive. I didn't, yeah. I didn't need that. And so I'm I'm literally stuck. And I'm trying to come here. I'm on my way here. And, boy, did they help me to get out. And I appreciate mm. them, man, for, for doing that. Shout out to all those who have helped or been of help or is just a good Samaritan out there. Shout out to all of you guys, first responders, everybody like that. I just want to give a quick shout out. Uh, we, we throw out. Uh, shout out as well to Brad from Baldwin says, thank you guys. You make these 12 hour shifts of plowing, plowing city streets go by faster. Brad, 
You're a hero. You're a, hero, You're a savior. Boy. We appreciate you, the work that you've put in and plowing these city streets, helping uh, those of us who do still have to get out and go to work, uh, you know, be able to get where we are as quickly as possible, as safely as possible. Were you fishtailing, Stricky? Were you yeah, just spinning? Man, it, just, oh, it was just spinning, oh. and I was rocking and rolling and just couldn't get it going. I tried to get out myself and do a little rock and push. And then I thought and you about it. You've been in the gym, so we know you can push. Man, you I, thought, I thought about it, man. I had, had hot coffee. I should have just poured the hot coffee <laughs> under the tire. Maybe, maybe you know, heated up some of that ice or something. But it was pretty. It was, it was, uh, it was wild. Uh, Gretna, Gretna did a good job of the main streets. It's mm. just those little side streets is where it was uh, troublesome. Right. My neighborhood has just a couple bottlenecks, like two ways in or out is all. So it's just hill? just enough of an incline, uh-huh. not a big hill, but just mm-hmm. enough of one that you want to keep kind of rolling forward so you don't have to try to spin. But then there's like four or five cars coming and you pulled over behind someone else. Not ideal. Not ideal. But again, big shout out to to people like Brad from Baldwin who who plow the city streets, who get us on on their way. Um, now, to Houston. Yes. T- talking of, of plowing streets, <laughs> Michigan's offensive line Ooh, rode greater last night, Stricky. Michigan did what Texas didn't do. They committed to the run early and often. And what did we say about that? We said Close yesterday, in the first quarter, they had add up. They're just going to keep, they're going to keep going and going and going. Didn't even really need J.J. McCarthy, but go ahead, no. continue on. 38 carries, 303 yards. Shh. That's eight yards a carry, four touchdowns on the ground, two from Corum, two from Donovan Edwards. Those two guys combined 27 carries, 238 yards. You mentioned J.J. McCarthy. He kind of Tom brady his way to this one, right? 10 of 18 through the air for 140 yards, so a couple pretty explosive plays. But it was the run game, right? That was going to be what Washington had to stop. They didn't force fumbles, not turnovers, either you know interceptions or anything, no special teams gaffes like Michigan had against Alabama. Michigan dominated early. Washington cut it to one possession at halftime. We're like, okay, the dogs are hanging around. Do they have more late game heroics than it? Michigan just took the air out of the ball, took the air out of Washington. Like they did what they've done all year long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no question about it. They, they, they just methodically went up and down the field. They made the plays when they had big, um, oh gosh, um, my the name just just big play from the tight end, um, uh, Loveland, Loveland, Colton Loveland, <laughs> big play from Loveland that literally just opened the game up. I mean, mm-hmm. if he doesn't, if Loveland doesn't make that play, it's literally still kind of a back and forth. You just kind of don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, just Washington couldn't get anything going. Mm. They really couldn't get anything going, and so it was it was it was troublesome because now. The running game was stagnant because there was a little bit of injury there. Mm-hmm. It couldn't get any push, any movement. So um, that was a difficulty for Washington. And then the accuracy of Penix, which had not been a problem mm-hmm. through the Pac-12 championship game, through the first semi game, mm-hmm. uh, no problems against Texas. Made throws off the back foot stepping up into the pocket Mm -hmm. some way somehow he seemed to be rattled it was a little his time clock got sped up a little bit because boy they had a couple of busted coverages and a couple of misreads like the interception that he threw Mm -hmm. the one time you get Ordunze on a one-on-one on a dig route he was wide open Mm -hmm. you miss him there you go to the literally the strength of where all the dbs were and and then on top of that, the other busted coverage or Dunze breaks wide. All you had to do was just literally lay it out there and you overthrow him. It was just unfortunate. He just didn't have the accuracy last night. Right. And part of that, I think, is he actually got hit, right? Texas didn't really hit it. Michigan yeah. did. I don't think Washington's offensive line was overrated, right? They overtook Michigan to win the Joe Moore Award for the best offensive line this year. It's been really good all year. And Penix has been a master at avoiding sacks, even yeah. when there has been pressure. Michigan's defensive line was just that good, right? They got after him. They hit him, might have injured him at some point in there as yeah, well. I mean, he, he looked pretty yeah. shaken up as well. But they limited big plays. The 44-yarder to Adunze oh, yeah. was the biggest play that the Michigan allowed, where on the flip side, Michigan had plays of 59, 46, 41, 37. Off the run game. Odunze was the only player for Washington with a play over 20 yards. And yeah. we mentioned it was a big play offense for Washington. Michigan made those evaporate. Totally. And and then you got McCarthy that got his legs involved. 
Yeah. Like it, he, you know, he, it was a long third down play mm-hmm. and um, great read off of a cover two, a Tampa two defense where mm-hmm. the linebackers totally looked like they were going to blitz and they vacated out. And it was a big run for them because that, that kind of kept the chains moving and it, and it mm-hmm. got them going. And, and the running game was just, uh, uh, was just phenomenal for them. Let's, let's take a look at Rob Dog on the uh, YouTube stream who says, Michigan won by ran- running the ball, stopping the run, winning the line of scrimmage, and having a game manager of a quarterback. That's exactly what Rule is trying to do here. Very exciting times ahead. And I have to agree with him. Mm-hmm. I think that's what he's trying to, to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Rule is looking to do some of the same things. Um, a good balance, I think, in the receiver core. I think power running game is really what Rule wants to get to. Mm-hmm. But they talked about, uh, what was the coach that took over for, uh, for Harbaugh? Do you remember his oh, name? Oh, Sharon Moore. Sharon Moore. Mm-hmm. They talked about Sharon Moore, Moore in, in the uh, broadcast, and they talked about how Sharon Moore brought back the power game and the intensity from the line that mm-hmm. had just been decimated and been beat up and couldn't move the needle at all. And he, mm-hmm. he brought back that intensity, and that's what's made Michigan football Michigan football again, mm-hmm. and it showed uh, against Washington that night. Right. They played a very Big Ten style of game, right? You look yeah. at the exotic you know, offense that Washington's running, airing it out with enough run game to match. Alabama's kind of modernized, right, dating back to 2015. And even Texas, right? Two really good running backs, but a lot of it out of the shotgun. Michigan is such a pro-style offense, which is why I've said they're the blueprint for Nebraska, right? With the line play, with the run game, you look at what Nebraska has. Maybe Dante Dowdle steps up into that role. I don't think Nebraska has an Edwards or a Corum on the roster right now necessarily, but you build to that. You can create stud running backs with a great offensive line. And then you get Robinson and Huttmacher back on the defensive line at another year for Cam yeah. Lenhart, some of the depth. You can definitely see the outline. I want to get back to that comparison here in just a sec, but let's go to the text line here. Uh, 3166 is GP in Gretna says, Strick, I'm glad you got to the station safely. I was glad I could help you. So GP, GP. heroes. That's Hero. I, I wanted to get your name and just happened to forget at the time, man, because I was really trying to get down here. I got down here at about like 115-ish, just right before the cross. GP, shout out to you, man. Thank you once again. And thanks for being a great listener here on the ticket. I appreciate you. Um, Professor Rick says two holding calls against number 73 on Washington put nails in the coffin. One negated a long completion. The other negated pass interference in the end zone. Yeah, I mean, Washington was only down strict by a touchdown entering the fourth quarter. It ends up a three touchdown game. Washington made this game closer than I think the final score would indicate. But I think you give credit to Michigan for extending that lead, right? Texas, you know, hung around with Washington, but kind of let the dogs off the hook a little bit. Michigan didn't. They no. played from ahead. They they jumped out to a lead, which we said they had to do to play their style. And again, let's translate that back to Nebraska. Didn't always start fast this year, right? Matt Rule says you want to win the fourth quarters, but the easiest way to win a fourth quarter playing this style is to also win the first quarter and then to dominate the middle eight minutes, right? The four minutes going into and coming out of halftime. Michigan won the first quarter. They Tried to trick off the middle eight with that late touchdown, but they matched the, the Huskies with a field goal and then 14 nothing in the fourth quarter. I do think that's the formula. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no there's no doubt. I, I think they've got to just um, continue. I think the line and I think they've done a good job getting mm-hmm. bricks and, you know, retaining re, the retainment. Mm-hmm. I think of Ben Scott was huge as well. Yes. Because I don't know if a lot of people understand the significance and, and we saw the significance of losses from centers, mm-hmm. Alabama being Oof. one of them. Mm-hmm. He was going to Ohio State, by the way. Oh, he's going to transfer to Ohio. Well, mm-hmm. shout out to him. You know, hopefully he'll, you know, when they play Nebraska, he'll throw a couple back there that <laughs> goes behind the quarterback. Uh-huh. <laughs> We're hoping Straight that. up. Uh-huh. <laughs> but anyway, um, just the retainment and the the continua- the continuation of what Riola is doing mm-hmm. and hoping to develop and to also recruit and continue to bring it back in. Mm-hmm. We want to we want to see pipeline 2.0. Yes. That, you know, mm-hmm. seriously, I just want to see pipeline 2.0. So, let's go back to that as well from Rob Dog on the YouTube stream. He says, um and have a game manager at quarterback. It kind of feels like Nebraska's skipping the line, right? Think about Jim Harbaugh's quarterbacks. You go through Shea Patterson early on, you have Cade McNamara, right? JJ McCarthy was a highly touted recruit, right? Yeah. He's not some nobody. He has the talent. 
didn't always need to show it, but I think Nebraska maybe skipped the game manager step, right? Again, there's potential in Dylan Raiola. My guess is he's toned down a little bit as a freshman. I hope he's toned down and they let him grow into the role, but we'll have plenty of time to talk about Jim Harbaugh's NFL prospects, Strick. Do you think J.J. McCarthy leads for the NFL? He, he won a national championship, but to me, there's only really like two systems I could see him being consistently successful in. San Francisco, mm-hmm. who seems pretty set unless they want to you know, take him to back up Purdy. Seattle. Maybe Seattle or wherever Arthur Smith goes. I think Smith runs a pretty quarterback-friendly system. I think J.J. McCarthy has a lot of talent. We just haven't seen him put in a lot of those positions to make the throws that I think his arm is capable of. You're talking of. about the Atlanta coach? Yes. There's okay. going to be an OC somewhere most likely okay. now. Mm-hmm. Here, the, the, what, I think what messed him up was ultimately the way you didn't use B. John Robinson and the way you didn't right. use Pitts. Mm-hmm. I think that's what killed you. I mean, mm-hmm. Pitts, Pitts is a super hybrid, and you got him blocking. Like, you didn't, you didn't use him effectively. And, and mm-hmm. I think that's what got him canned. But but anyway, I, I I agree with you. But that comes from the tradition of this style. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, well, I, I look at Michigan. I think I I think if Harbaugh's smart, I think he's using it as as a as a multi pronged approach. Mm-hmm. In that he's leveraging, he's leveraging, mm-hmm. he's looking to leverage the opportunity for Michigan to step forward now that they won a mm-hmm. championship. And give him the big, the super big contract, mm-hmm. which I think he would prefer. Right. But I think he may bounce because I think there's still some stuff to go. I, I, think I do there's still, as well. still to happen with Michigan football that I think he may want to bounce. Right, kind of getting nudged out the door by by more coming down the pipeline. Yeah. I agree. If you have any thoughts on the national championship, let us know. But if you've got any thoughts on Nebraska and Purdue, that's where we're going next. How do the Huskers take down the Boilermakers? Northwestern's done it the last couple of years. Can the Huskers take them down on their home court? We'll discuss that next. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC. And we'd like to say thank you for a record-setting 2023. So let's start off 2024 with the bang. They've got huge trade-in bonuses and finance bonusing happening right now on our new inventory at Couple. Get up to $8,500 off select new models at Couple. So if you're shopping for a new GM product, go to our website at couplecars.com. You won't believe the discounts. Make that short money-saving drive down 144th Street. You'll be glad you did. Must have trade and finance with roof credit. Stock number G20768. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Discover a healthier, happier you with weight loss professional nutrition. We are not about quick fixes, but real, sustainable change. With our advanced nutrition plans, expertly designed by our certified nutritionists, we're with you at every step on your weight loss journey. Step into the world of well-being with weight loss professional nutrition, where we believe in the power of smart diet choices. Visit weightlossprofessionalnutrition.com today or call 800-597-3991 to get 30% off your first month and start your transformation. 
A new you is just a click away or a call to 800-597-3991. This is a former Husker and NFL linebacker, Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems at both of my ankles, but thanks to a thorough and thought out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677. Advanced Medical Imaging, located at 7601 Pioneers Boulevard. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Again Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. Husker fans, your fourth-ranked Nebraska wrestling team needs you to pack the Bob Devaney Sports Center on Friday, January 12th for their Big Ten home opener and a top-five matchup against number two, Iowa. The duel will begin at 6.30, and the first 300 fans will receive a Nebraska wrestling shirt. For more information or to secure your tickets, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Ready to make this season unforgettable? Celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union's low-rate debt consolidation loan. Combine all those bills into one affordable monthly payment with quick access to funds. Imagine all the extra cash for holiday shopping sprees, festive parties, or that well-deserved vacation. Stop by any of their branches or visit libertyfirstcu.com to find out more about their low-rate debt consolidation loan. Make this holiday season one to remember and celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk coffee and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job, it's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back on the block, Austin Norman and Eric Strickland with you, turning our attention to snowy Lincoln, Nebraska for tonight's matchup between the Huskers and the Boilermakers. Got some trivia for you. 15 bucks to the Upside Bar and Lounge for the first texter. Actually, let's do this. First person to comment on the stream, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter, first person to comment on the stream, what is the last year Nebraska men's basketball defeated a number one ranked team? What's, when's the last time that happened? Give us the year. Give us the team. Uh, first one on the stream will get the 15 bucks to the upside bar and lounge. We do also want to make you aware that uh, we are no longer Allo Channel 951. Allo Channel 961, and that's not just outside and not just in Lincoln. It is all across the state. Go to uh, 93.7 The Ticket's social media, uh, Twitter and Facebook especially. We'll have that information for you if you're watching out in uh, East Central Nebraska, if you're watching in Northeast Nebraska, any corner of the state pretty much. If you are an Allo subscriber, turn to Channel 961 for all your ticket content. All right, Strick, this is a Teach Tape Tuesday, and I think it was illustrative to go back and watch Northwestern in Purdue. The Boilermakers, two seasons in a row, have been ranked number one, have gone to Evanston, and gotten defeated by Chris Collins and the Wildcats. I just pulled up some of the highlights from their game in uh, December 
uh, produced. That's the only loss of the year so far for the Boilermakers is on the road at Northwestern. When you watch these highlights, what stands out to you about Northwestern, how they attack Purdue? Well, one of the things is it was a lot of good screening, putting bodies on people, and it was action going away and then bringing Edie across the paint and then working backside with a big man or a cutter or something like that. That's a lot of the ways that they got their, um, you know, mm-hmm. their layups. Now, they would attack hard, um, and they would get mid-ranges. They would never really be at layups. To the, They would get little mid-ranges or little floaters or mm-hmm. little float shots with, you know, going into the basket, and they were hard double-teaming. And they were coming with hard double team, quick rotations, taking away the first the first pass that Zach Eady would have in his mind to make, which is mm-hmm. always a strong side pass. They were flying to take away the strong side pass and making him and forcing him to make some form of a pass uh, on the weak side. Now, where I think Eady is going to grow and has grown is by catching first peaking instead of catching and immediately putting it down. That's where he used to get in trouble uh, last year with all the games that they ended up losing. Nebraska got in trouble with that with rank mass too. And yeah. Fred Hoiberg said, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. You put it down too quick, not understanding where any double teams or any digs or anything are coming from. Mm-hmm. And then now you don't know where your, your passes are going to come from. Now you're stuck because once they got you in a hesitation or – a, uh, a little bit of unsure of yourself moment, mm-hmm. the next thing you do is you pause, 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 and then guys rotate back out, and now you're stuck. So you you don't really have any mm-hmm. action at that point. So I, I, I'm, that's what Northwestern was consistent in doing. Yes, they had some troubles, but they hung in there enough because they screened well, they put bodies on people, they forced them to make decisions, that they're not used to making or used to staying on that, that one person. They're not a switching team. Mm-hmm. And so that's where Northwestern was able to take advantage of. We do and great guard play because Boo Booey and right. Adige were, were tremendous guards. That's what I was going to get to next. But we have a winner on the YouTube stream. Kenny, you are correct. The year was 1982, the last time Nebraska took down a number one ranked team. It happened on the road. First person on the text line. Who can tell us who Nebraska men's basketball beat in 1982? Also $15 to the Upside Bar and Lounge available for you. Strictest- Kenny, shout out to you as well on the stream. And, mm-hmm. we, you know, we, we saw that you came through with it as well. Yep. He, he gets the first 15. Yeah. Yep. Next 15 for the person who can tell us who the, the men's team beat in 82. Strick, I looked over the stats from both Northwestern's wins over Purdue uh, this season and last season. There's not a whole lot of commonalities, right? Purdue didn't shoot the best in either matchup necessarily, but in the game this year, Purdue out rebounded Northwestern 52 to 27. Mm -hmm. We know Nebraska has been out rebounded before they've been better, but the way that Northwestern overcame that was turnovers. So 52 to 27 in rebounds, but Purdue turned the ball over 17 times. And again, a lot of that strict, the guys that we, we go back to for Purdue, it was from, the guards, yeah. right? You have Smith with six turnovers. He averages about six, seven assists per game, but six turnovers from the guy that's handling the ball a lot. Yeah. That's too many. Fletcher Lawyer had a couple. You had Mason Gillis, kind of their CJ Wilcher, who had a couple. So Nebraska can probably, I don't say Nebraska can afford to get out rebounded by 25 and still win the game. But if that's going to be the case, if Zach Eady's going to dominate, you mentioned the guards for Northwestern, Bowie and Adige. Is it a big Jamarcus Lawrence game? Is it a big Case game? Is it a big Eli Rice game? Does it take all three? Who are the guards you're looking at in this matchup for Nebraska? Well, again, I think uh, Nick alluded to, I think C.J. Wilcher has to continue to have a great uh, offering off the bench. And I I really do hope that they start Eli Rice just Mm. because of his physicality um, and demand more of him. You know, when when you start a game, there's a there's a bigger demand on you because you can't just come in and just lackadaisically ease into it. You need mm-hmm. to come in and, and be ready to get this team rolling. And and I'm hoping that can help him in this game against Purdue. Um, I want I, I want to keep CJ Wilcher in the same mind frame, just mm-hmm. knowing where his stuff and his minutes are gonna come from. He come in with the same routine, not change anything on him. And uh because that 
that change of going to the starting lineup mm -hmm. puts pressure on you to feel like you have to step up and do certain things that you really don't have to do. It's outside of intensity and matching the intensity of those who you're going to be playing against. Mm -hmm. And Purdue's going to bring it because they're the they're one of the most hunted teams right now. Anytime you get into that top 10, you're hunted. Mm -hmm. So they understand that. And so you're going to have to match their intensity coming into this game. Never forget, too, Strick, that C.J. Wilcher was the guy at the end of the game, right? Last year with the, the no call that looked like he should have gone to the free throw line. That would have been C.J. Wilcher's moment to, to knock Purdue off in regulation. A big game for him, I think, would, you know, knock off some of that, you know, atonement from, from last year to some degree. Mm. You alluded to this. You saved it for, for our show. How does Nebraska get to the rim? You mentioned with sets. What does that look like for this team? Well, there's certain things that you have to do, I think, taking advantage of rink mast and guys of the sort. I, I even think you can use Alec. I think Alec is okay from a mid-range perspective, mm -hmm. free throw line, extended. Mm -hmm. um, he can get to a certain spot if Edie doesn't come, come out enough. I think you can use him there. But I think they have to run those high sets that they used to really do with uh, Walker. The difference mm. is, is Walker had to attack body in order to get it off. Whereas rank, if you don't come out, run your sets, run your curls off of them, you know, look for your backdoor actions, all of that. If he doesn't come out, I mean, he should have a free throw shooting contest all mm. night. Like he shoots good free throws. Right. That should be your shot. The minute, mm -hmm. the minute Zach Eady does not come out, and they may initially try to put Zach Eady on someone else. And that's why I think Rice is important. I think Gary, Rice, mm -hmm. Jamarcus, and Casey with Rink, that, that can set a good tone for you because you know you've got enough shooters at all positions to eliminate anything that they're going to try to mask or cover for Zach Eady. Mm -hmm. Run your good sets, but you've got to set screens because that's what Northwestern did. They set tremendous screens, which made that second defender on a shooter have to make a decision. Am I going to help my guy or am I going to allow him to get beat? Mm -hmm. Am I going to let Casey get this wide open shot or am I going to help? And that's when the opportunities are going to open up on the weak side because if it's not communicated right, you should have slips. You should have layups all day. If they're not working on slip layups, with, with mm -hmm. setting good screens, then it's going to be a disservice for them in this game. I'm glad you brought up Juwan Gary. He's a guy that really popped against Kansas State. I mean, the double-digit offensive rebounds in that game. He's been kind of quiet, been kind of floating since then. I think Juwan Gary hitting a couple threes. You know, if he goes two of five from three, that's a big deal for Nebraska. I don't think Purdue has a great matchup for him. I think he's more athletic. I think he can get downhill against Purdue's guys. Um, the, that's the secondary breaks I'm yes, talking about. right. Without them getting defensive set. That's mm -hmm. where Gary can be huge. I think Jamarcus can be huge in that way. Mm -hmm. And I think also Gary, but not with going to ultimately finish unless Edie is super trailing. Mm -hmm. Like if you're out ahead and you can get downhill to a finish, that's where your finishes should come. When Zach Edie is set in the middle of the paint, you shouldn't be shooting mid ranges, bank shots at, you know, six, eight feet. Mm -hmm. You should not be trying to go up and finish with body contact on Zach Eady too much. Mm -hmm. Unless you're going to try to bang on his head, like maybe Jawan Gary could do, or even an Eli Rice could do. Mm -hmm. You need to be attacking, not to finish with a layup. You need to be attacking to put somebody in the rim. That's the only way I would attack if I'm going to attack Zach Eady. Which is easier to do against a Kalkbrenner who's skinnier. Eady's solid, right? He's not moving. Um, I do think he relies on his height and his size a little bit too much sometimes because Northwestern ran a play that I think Nebraska can do. They'll, they'll bring the ball up one side of the court, run a guard through to the opposite corner, pop the big man up, and then curl over top of him. Edie just kind of stood there, didn't mm -hmm. communicate, didn't do anything. Northwestern got, you know, four or six points off of that. Yeah. That's a set, you know, to some degree yeah. getting to the rim. But Strick, this does feel like when you say mid-range, right? I said threes in the crossover. Um, you know, you can get away with some stuff if you're shooting a high enough clip. But I think there's an interesting point you're making, too, about the mid-range, but that's not Fred Hoiberg's style. Yeah, unfortunately. Is this a game, I think, that Fred Hoiberg doubles down on his system and says, no, we a good shot is a good shot regardless of the matchup? Or is he okay with for a night saying, this is a good shot tonight because Purdue's going to play a lot of drop with ED and not expose him on the perimeter? Well, this is the conversation we've had with Jay, Jay uh, Foreman in football. Mm. System or scheme? Ah, there you go. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. 
this is where you have to be pliable. Like you could be bullheaded and just continuously run your stuff mm -hmm. against, but I think, I think you need to have certain wrinkles against wrinkles. certain teams. Hey, mm -hmm. against certain teams because they're different. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, because there's not another Zach Eady. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, there are certain teams that, you know, you, like, I wouldn't play Michigan State the same way that I would I would play or have shots the same way or sets the same way that I would have against Purdue. Right. So I would have wrinkles. I would have different things set up that they haven't seen. Mm -hmm. I want them to go in halftime, make an adjustments, or to go into a timeout saying, dang, hey, we've got to figure out something different here. We can't, we can't mm -hmm. use the coverage that we expected because guess what they're setting up for? Dribble, handoff, double mm -hmm. screens in the corner, curl off screens, and multiple back screen, down screen type actions. I would have just some sets that only I would run for certain teams, mm -hmm. and that's one of them is Purdue. Because then you, you've saved them for Purdue, but they're still in the back of the mind of other teams, knowing you can bust them out if you need them, yeah. but it's one more thing to prepare for. We do have a second winner as well for uh, the $15 to the upside. Texter 1427, uh, please send in your name. We'll reach out to you. 15 bucks to the upside bar and lounge is yours. Last thing then for this segment, Strick, this is Nebraska's one shot at Purdue. We know that going to Mackey Arena has not been kind to Nebraska. They've put up some stinkers there. But the Huskers don't travel to Purdue. This is their one shot in the nation's number one ranked team. They get Wisconsin again. Um, they'll get Indiana again. They'll get Northwestern twice. Even though it's a home game, this is the best opportunity for the best win for Nebraska men's basketball this year. You cannot let this opportunity you can't slip squander away. it. You can't squander it. I mean, it's one of those things that when we would have Kansas coming in as a top 10 ranked team, we we would we would go all out. Mm -hmm. It would be Missouri would come in highly ranked. We go all out mm -hmm. because you can't you you know your goal is to get 500 or better in conference that gets you in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. That requires you to win all your home games or you know win a game or two on the road, but mm -hmm. most of your home games for the most part, right? right. That's what they've got to do. They've got an opportunity. This this could put you a quad one win. Mm -hmm. And that that just moves you up in the qualities of the games that you're going to have. Indiana's still going to be good for them, I think. Mm -hmm. Your Michigan State's still going to bode well for them. Your loss on the road to Wisconsin is not going to hurt you. You get them at home again. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you get a chance to redeem that. Minnesota possibly could hurt you at the end of the day if they just have They're 11 and 3 off. right now. You know, they're still good right mm -hmm. now, so you're, it's looking good for you. So you don't want to squander this, but most importantly, it's what? A home game. Mm-hmm. You 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 should have beat them twice. This team is yeah. no different. I think you got better. Oh, but yes, right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you come in and lay an egg, and and I'm talking about it doesn't matter if Bryce Williams is there or not. I don't, I, I still think mm -hmm. they have enough. Mm -hmm. But it's going to require an all out effort. It's going to require you to leave everything on that floor. It's going to require you to do the the one, two, and three. You know. Um, extra plays of, of rotation or or doing something extra mm -hmm. to get it done but it's that's what's going to take and for the love of all things holy keep hitting your free throws man <laughs> that, that's that's how you either push leads get back into games mm -hmm. or win games mm -hmm. i mean it, it's all to the positive free throws mm -hmm. works in three ways pushes leads Get you back into games because why? You want to be on the attack. If you're down, you want to be on the attack because you're getting points with clock stop mm -hmm. or wins games when it's when when it matters. When it matters. Mm -hmm. So it's all positive. If you don't do that well, they've got to win in the differentials. Mm -hmm. Some differential they've got to win. If they're going to lose in the rebounding, they better do something else somewhere else. Win turnovers and three points. They got. They're going to. They're going to have to win in some differential in order to win this game. Huskers and Boilermakers tonight at 8 o'clock from Pinnacle Bank Arena. Again, we'll have a trivia question for a, two free tickets from, uh, I believe it was Dale giving those away um, on the text line here. Uh, so stay tuned for that. The Huskers looking for their first win over a number one team since 1982 against Missouri. So again, congratulations to uh, Terry and to Kenny for winning the $15 each to the Upside Bar 
and Lounge. You had a chance to win 30 bucks to Buffalo Wings and Rings right now, though. By beating Strick in trivia, we got the shootout with Strick here. It's an NFL theme, and that's all I'm going to give you. Call now, 402-464-5685. Take on Strick. Four questions for him, four for you. $30 to Buffalo Wings and Rings on the line. We'll play the game to wrap up Hour 1 in just a sec. Discover a healthier, happier you with weight loss professional nutrition. We are not about quick fixes, but real, sustainable change. With our advanced nutrition plans, expertly designed by our certified nutritionists, we're with you at every step on your weight loss journey. Step into the world of well-being with Weight Loss Professional Nutrition, where we believe in the power of smart diet choices. Visit weightlossprofessionalnutrition.com today or call 800-597-3991 to get 30% off your first month and start your transformation. A new you is just a click away or a call to 800-597-3991. Why are New Year's resolutions always about getting to the gym more or dieting? We fail ourselves before the first month of the year is already over. Why not resolve to eat better, tastier foods in 2024? Look no further than Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. Stop eating your apples, vegetables, crackers, and chips plain. Give them some flavor. Fuhrer's Cheese Spread awakens your taste buds. Now that's how you start a new year. Find your container of Fuhrer's Cheese Spread today at your local grocery store. Ooh, what a day. I could sure use an afternoon pick-me-up. Hold up. The new 93.7 The Ticket location has a milk, coffee, and tea inside? Oh, yeah. This is a game changer. Need an afternoon pick-me-up? How about a coffee or smoothie on your way to work? Stop by the Ticket Mill location on 1040 O Street to get your go-to drink or try out our new game day drinks exclusive to the Ticket Mill location. We know it'll make your day a mill yen times better. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Against Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the donut experience has been life-changing. Ready to make this season unforgettable? Celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union's low-rate debt consolidation loan. Combine all those bills into one affordable monthly payment with quick access to funds. Imagine all the extra cash for holiday shopping sprees, festive parties, or that well-deserved vacation. Stop by any of their branches or visit libertyfirstcu.com to find out more about their low-rate debt consolidation loan. Make this holiday season one to remember and celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. Integrated Life Choices has been inspiring opportunities for individuals with disabilities for more than 15 years in Lincoln and across Nebraska by offering a number of services. From group homes to independent living resources and job training, you'll find the support that allows people to live fulfilling lives. They're also hiring. If you're looking for a rewarding career supporting people with developmental disabilities, you can check out open positions along with learning more about services at ILC.net. Integrated Life Choices. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com, inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. 
Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. The Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of snow and blowing snow, especially this morning. Otherwise, cloudy and windy this afternoon. We'll see a high of around 23. Tonight, mainly cloudy and cold. We'll see a low of around 9. And tomorrow, most sunny skies in the morning. Got a slight chance of snow in the afternoon. We'll see a high of around 33. A meteorologist Kyle Tucker from the 93.7 Ticket and TicketFM.com. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. It's time to play Shootout with Strick. Call now, 464-5685, to take your shot against Eric Strickland. Shootout with Strick, brought to you by Buffalo Wings and Rings. Time to play the game! It is indeed. We need a contestant, 402-464-5685, to take on Eric Strickland in a game of trivia. We also need Rico. I think he's back there. He was at one point. Guess we'll see him. We'll give him just a sec. You know what? We're going to do this the rest of you. I'm patching him straight through. Yeah. Hold on. All right. We go to our Honda of Lincoln hotline. Caller, what's your name? Hey, this is Tad. Is that Dan? Tad, T-A-D. Oh, Tad. Thank you for calling. How are you today, Tad? Good. How are you guys? All right. We are doing great. Are you familiar with the rules of the shootout with Strick? I believe so, yeah. Excellent. Hold on the line. We will give Strick his questions, and then we will get to you. Tad, all right, we're doing NFL coach firings. Oh, God. That's where we're going to set up uh, some of our next segment. Stricky, your round starts here in three, two, and... What is this called, Black Monday? It was Black Monday. Yeah? Yes. Okay. And one. They were the second team to fire their coach this season, Carolina or Washington? Washington. It was Carolina. He won more games with... Uh, he won more games with his previous team. Brandon Staley or Ron Rivera? Ron Rivera. It was Rivera. He won more games as Atlanta's head coach. Wade Phillips or Arthur Smith? Wade Phillips. It was Arthur Smith. And they finished with the best record of any team to fire their coach. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Atlanta Falcons. Three, two, Atlanta is the one. guess. It is not Atlanta. The Raiders finish eight and nine this season. Oh, Atlanta seven. finishes seven and oh, ten. Shoot. Close. Okay. Mm. Close, but no cigar. All right, Tad, you need one to tie. You need two or more to win. Are you ready for your round of the shootout? Let's get it. All right. Starts here in three, two, and one. They fired their coach on Halloween. Las Vegas or Los Angeles? Los Angeles. It was Las Vegas. He won more games with his previous team. Josh McDaniels or Frank Reich? Right. It was McDaniels. He won more games as Tennessee's head coach. Mike Vrabel or Bum Phillips? Uh, Vrabel. It was Phillips. <gasps> and they finished with the worst yes. record of any team that fired their coach. Eight, seven, Sorry, read that again. Uh, they finished with the worst record of any team that's fired their coach. Two, one. Carolina. At the buzzer. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. Boom. Give me a hell yeah. That, I need a replay. He got it off. I said, I need a replay. Oh, yeah. He got it off. Got it, baby. At the yeah. buzzer. A tenth of a second to Ooh. go. Ten. You win $30 to Buffalo Wings. He and just threw that out yours. Congratulations on the win. Good job, Ted. Thanks, man. Good, good job, Strickland. <laughs> He threw it out, too, man. Just sling it out there, like, stuck to the wall. 
I had turned the computer on to play your music. Yeah, I didn't need it. It caught me off guard. Me. He pulls it off a two to one victory for Tad in the shootout. Um, we do still have those two basketball tickets to give away, courtesy of Dean on the text line. So if you would like to go to the basketball game tonight, we will give these tickets away to let's do what's a good number here, Stricky. Number of Grace. Five. Okay. Cinco. Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Texture number five with the the right answer. We'll do over or under. Uh, six NFL teams have fired their coaches so far. How many games did those teams combine to win this season? Six of those. Six teams in the NFL have fired their coaches. How many games did those teams combine to win this season? You did already get 15 wins between Las uh-huh. Vegas and Atlanta. I'm, so. I'm, I'm adding that up. <laughs> There's your hint from the segment. 22. Okay, Stricky's guess is 22. Texter number five with the right answer over or under. We will uh, give your number to Dean for two free tickets to Nebraska basketball's game tonight against Purdue. The NFL uh, coaches segment was a lead into our next segment. We'll go over the playoff picture. The bracket is set. Games start on Saturday. Who's playing well? Who's not? What are some of the storylines that uh, Strick and I will be tracking? We'll get into that and plenty more as we continue our two here of On the Block. Ready to make this season unforgettable? Celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union's low rate debt consolidation loan. Combine all those bills into one affordable monthly payment with quick access to funds. Imagine all the extra cash for holiday shopping sprees, festive parties, or that well-deserved vacation. Stop by any of their branches or visit libertyfirstcu.com to find out more about their low-rate debt consolidation loan. Make this holiday season one to remember and celebrate with Liberty First Credit Union, banking with purpose. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the Doan experience has been life-changing. Concrete Industries, a Nebco company, has immediate job openings for precast production laborers. Concrete Industries offers great pay, health benefits, 401k, a wellness program, holidays, and paid time off. Apply today to earn a starting pay of $20 per hour and a $1,500 hiring bonus. Concrete Industries is hiring all experience levels and offers on-the-job training. Start your career today as a precast production laborer. Visit ConcreteIndustries.com. Integrated Life Choices has been inspiring opportunities for individuals with disabilities for more than 15 years in Lincoln and across Nebraska by offering a number of services. From group homes to independent living resources and job training, you'll find the support that allows people to live fulfilling lives. They're also hiring. If you're looking for a rewarding career supporting people with developmental disabilities, you can check out open positions along with learning more about services at ILC.net. Integrated Life Choices. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. The Lincoln forecast for today, a chance of snow and blowing snow, especially this morning. Otherwise, cloudy and windy this afternoon. We'll see a high of around 23. Tonight, mainly cloudy and cold. We'll see a low of around 9. And tomorrow, most sunny skies in the morning. Got a slight chance of snow in the afternoon. We'll see a high of around 33. Meteorologist Kyle Tucker from the 93.7 Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com, inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. The Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with four Lincoln locations, but now five Lincoln locations. That's 25% more locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. The Mill on 11, 
located right alongside the 93.7 The Ticket Studios at 1040 O Street. Have you been accused of a crime? Is your freedom at stake? At Liberty Law Group, we are committed to the defense of liberty for those accused. Facing criminal charges is stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. At Liberty Law Group, we believe in treating every person with respect, compassion, and understanding. When legal troubles are keeping you up at night, trust Liberty Law Group to fight your battles. To learn more, call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth. 93.7 The Ticket. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play it against sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment. And 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. Nebraska Basketball Hall of Famer and nine-year NBA vet, Eric Strickland. Strickland for three! And you're going to go out of here as the Big Eight tournament champion. Middle school basketball coaching legend and Duke basketball shooting coach in his mind, Austin Orman. Coming at you live from the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Brought to you by Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul. This is On the Block with Strick and Austin. Hour two of the show turns a little more professional. Well, Stricky and I are professional, so we should try to be. Appreciate you guys listening in, but we turn our attention to pro athletics. We'll start in the NFL. We'll move to a little bit of NBA. If you've got any thoughts, any comments, questions on anything we're talking about, anything on your mind too, right? Just, just hit us up. We're here for you, 402-464-5685. We also wouldn't be here without you or without Mary Ellen's Food for the Soul down at 29th and Pine Lake here in Lincoln. Um, Stricky, I also do want to shout out our our guy, Uncle Kev, Kevin Meyer of Meyer's Cork and Bottle. I hate to break the news. He won't be here for the next two Thirsty Thursdays. So we're trying to find a replacement. We might still have Thirsty Thursday, but Uncle Kev will be um, out of town for that. Anyways, um, we mentioned this on Thursday uh, with him was they're doing their their seventh annual kind of kind of charity drive, right? So what Myers Cork and Bottle has done is set aside 21 bottles of bourbon, some of the, the highest sought after ones on the market there. And the way that you can get your hands on those is through donating to the Autism Family Network. Each entry that you want, you donate $2 to um, the Autism Family Network, either in-store at Myers Cork and Bottle at 13th and South or directly through... Uh, the Autism Family Network website. Uh, make sure you, you let them know it's Sipping for the Spectrum. That's the the name of the, the drive that they're doing there. So Sipping for the Spectrum at Myers Cork and Bottle. $2 per entry, as many entries as you want. You can put them all um, in the box for one bottle of bourbon. You can spread them across all 21 bottles. There'll be 21 different winners drawn uh, at the end of the month. It'll be probably taking place in early February because the the drive, the fundraising drive for the Autism Family Network, January 8th through January 31st. So we love Kevin Meyer. They're doing great work down there at Meyer's Cork and Bottle. Um, this is for a great cause to the Autism Family Network. So if you want to get your hands um, on some bourbon or at least the opportunity to buy some of, uh, some of the best that Uncle Kev has to offer, make sure you donate to, again, the Autism Family Network, either at Meyer's Cork and Bottle or at autismfamilynetwork.com. Board. We'll keep plugging that throughout the week and throughout the month for Uncle Kevin. But uh, let's turn our attention now, Strick, to the NFL playoffs. Don't we have something else to give away that we didn't give away on last the last show? We got what, what was we got upside given away. 
Was that it over there? Yeah. Oh, we okay, got we did do that. We're good. We okay. got uh, the two winners for the last time Nebraska men's basketball beat a number one team. That was Missouri in 1982. Huskers have number one Purdue here tonight. Um, Perfect, though. All day on all our shows. It's giveaways. All week. Giveaways, especially for the Upside Bar and Lounge. $15 gift certificates available for you. So make sure you listen throughout the day, right? Not just one show, not just one time. Plenty of opportunities to win. But it's winner go home in the NFL now, Strick. We're on to the playoffs. Do you want to start in the AFC or the NFC? Let's go with the AFC. Okay, AFC. Ravens get the one seed. Uh, John Harbaugh and his team have the best Super Bowl odds in the AFC just after younger brother Jim ends up um, winning the national championship down in Houston. Makes you think. (laughs) Makes you think. Are there any more of those ooh moments for you in the AFC? Oh, man. So I guess they've already kind of put out, they've, they've changed it multiple times now. And then they put out a new picture graph of what the, the Super Bowl logo looks like. Mm -hmm. And it's very purplish. Oh, is it now? It's very purplish. Where's the game being played? Um, Vegas, right? In Vegas. Yeah. Vegas, not typically associated with purple. It is not associated with purple and it's got a little red tint to it. So if I look at the AFC, the only purple that I see is the Ravens. And if I look at the NFC, the red that I see is the 49ers or the Bucks. There you go. Hmm. So it's interesting to kind of see if that's going to pan out. Ooh, Ooh. We'll, we'll see. But um, yeah, Ravens are going to be chilling. Man, they're going to sit at home. They're going to wait and see who is going to come down to and who's going to come in and, um, and, and, and go down to Baltimore and, and come into their home field and deal with the Lamar train and what he's going to uh, continue to do in a stellar season that he had. Now, keep, people keep putting up, and I want, I want to hear from you, Sutter Heyman text line, 402-464-5685. And the reason is, <clears throat> people keep putting up Dak Prescott's numbers, how well they align, but then how better they are than Lamar's. But everybody keeps talking about Lamar for MVP. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you believe that Dak Prescott should be the MVP this year? I'd love to hear from you. There, mm-hmm. there, 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 there's a debate to be had. And tell me why you think so. I would love to hear from you guys on the Starter Heyman text line. I know some of you guys hate the Cowboys, and that's fine. But Got just a couple take Cowboys off, lovers as well. Yeah, so go at each take other. Take off your Cowboy hater hat and just really just look. I want you to dig into the numbers and, you know, see if you feel that Dak Prescott has, you know, a, a, a play in the game. Mm-hmm. I want to know. Yeah, let us know. We'll get to that as we go here. Um, the playoff matchups this weekend in the AFC. The 2-7 matchup is the Bills hosting the Steelers. The 3-6 is the Chiefs hosting the Dolphins. And the 4-5 is the Texans hosting the Browns. I want to start with that 4-5 strike. You have C.J. Stroud coming back from injury. Houston makes a surprise run at a division title. Year one of C.J. Stroud. Year one of D'Amico Ryans. Great job rebuilding quicker than I think anyone thought was possible. Hosting a freaking playoff game. Hosting. After going like what? one? They only won one game last year, right? Was it one? I think it was two two or three. Two, two or three. three? Yeah. Not okay, many. they got a couple of late yeah. ones. Mm-hmm. They were horrible. Atrociously bad. And mm-hmm. yeah, because they had the second pick. Yeah. So yeah, they mm-hmm. weren't as bad as Carolina. Right. But at the same time, no one expected this turnaround. Mm-hmm. But here's why I can say I'm not surprised. Because watching that team compete last year, even though they were losing, mm-hmm. I was winning on spreads. You were. Because mm-hmm. I was picking them because I'm like, look, they're going to fight. Mm-hmm. And that's what they've continued to have as an organization. And so now you've kind of shored up some areas in your, on your offensive side. That's really was the part that was hurting you. Your defense mm-hmm. was solid. And so here we go. Let, let, let's get to it. The flip side of that matchup then is the Cleveland Browns, who Oof. we know about their quarterback position. Deshaun Watson hurt Dorian Thompson Robinson, not really effective. So who do the Browns turn to but Joe Flacco? One of his first games back off the couch strick was against Houston, and he tore him up. Amari Cooper had a big game. Flacco went over 300 yards passing. Houston was without a couple starters, but this is going to be a huge test for a still young Houston team against one of the best defenses in the league. Yeah, that is, that's the part right there. The, the Cleveland Browns defense is absolutely phenomenal. And coming fresh off of injury, going into uh, the 
what 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 do they used to call it when um you were in um Rome and they they had the uh oh the Colosseum going into the mm-hmm. Colosseum mm-hmm. into into there with the with the dog on the people that used to fight they call the gladiators them the gladiators mm-hmm. Going in there with the gladiators, and that's my old old man self <laughs> that just kind of every now and then has a little <laughs> lapse on what I'm talking. But let me tell you, that's tough. Mm-hmm. The preparation, the speed, just kind of get it, – it's the same thing of like if you're a basketball player, you're sitting on the side, and yeah, you're staying in shape, and you're riding a bike, and – you know, you're doing drills, but there's nothing that can simulate the pace and the speed and the physicality mm-hmm. of the game. No. Not even in practice, not even with with the bumping, with the, um, the, the pads. pads. Yeah. Not, none of that can simulate it. So I wonder how he's going to do. I hope he performs well, but it's not an easy task what he's about to embark on. It absolutely is. And, not. but they've got more film on Flacco now. Mm-hmm. So... I can assume that they're going to make some adjustments on how they did some things as far as that scheme up with them. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's going to be interesting to see how it plays off, what adjustments were made and who's going to make the best adjustments uh, in it. I think we need to talk about Joe Flacco, kind of like we talked about Brock Purdy last year, right? I mean, I don't think Flacco is completely washed, but I, I think we have to give a lot of credit to Kevin Stefanski, his offensive game plans, figuring out what works for Joe Flacco and how he can best get Amari Cooper and even David Njoku, Pro Bowl tight Ooh. end. The ball. Two Those weapons. two guys have been on an absolute heater with Flacco at QB. Yeah. And and listen, Flacco's always had a big arm. That's not a question of what mm-hmm. you know he could he could he could sling it. It was just he was more he was more needed just to manage the game. Mm-hmm. And now he's got an opportunity with some serious weapons to be able to uh uh do some things. Still a solid running game, too. Mm-hmm. So um I'm happy for him. I think it would be a tremendous story to see them make a run in the playoffs if they could do it. Uh, Chiefs Dolphins, the three six matchup in Kansas City. A lot's being made strict of the weather, right? Being played in Kansas City. The high is looking like it's going to be 10 degrees on Saturday for that game. Yeah, Miami's um, never really played well with that type of weather. They haven't. Their their one win in, in that temperature or below was back in like 2008, actually, against the Chiefs. The lowest temperature game two has ever started was 28 degrees. He's one in seven in games kind of in that you know, sub 45, sub 40 degree range, which leads you to think advantage Chiefs, right? They're used to it. More of a defensive-minded team. They're healthier. I can't write off the possibility of a Tyreek Hill revenge game, though, Strick. I mean, it's 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 playing up for it, mm-hmm. right? It's it's literally playing up for it, but I can guarantee you they're not going to let Tyreek Hill murder them. They're gonna Triple try team him to. if they have to? I mean, they're going to try not to. Um, but again, they've got they've got a lot of weapons over there. Two good running backs. Two good running backs with with um, um, you know Mostert uh, and A-chain. Mostert and 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 uh, Achan, but also their receivers mm-hmm. with um, Waddle, uh, Jerry Waddle, mm-hmm. and um, you know their slots okay, but they're still dangerous. Mm-hmm. So I, I just I've just got a great feeling that they're going to scheme him up seriously. And uh, UNL basketball calling. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. You do what you need. Um, the other playoff matchup here then uh, to look at in the AFC will be the Bills and the Steelers. That's the two seven game. As I look at this one, it's an opportunity for the Bills right to get back to the divisional round, and for the Steelers to win a playoff game for the first time in like six years under Mike Tomlin. It's been a minute, right? Tomlin's been under some fire. Again, the Steelers finish above 500, not a losing record for them. They continue that trend under Mike Tomlin, but they haven't had the high-level success. And now the Dak stacked against them. They're the lowest seed in the AFC playoffs. They squeaked their way in. They needed a lot of help. They needed Jacksonville to lose. They needed a result as well in Indianapolis and in uh, the Houston game. So I, I like this matchup, I think, for Josh Allen at home. I don't want to write Pittsburgh off yet, but of all the games here, Strick, I would feel most confident picking the Bills to win over the Steelers more than I would a, a winner in any other game right now. Outside of the defense, for me, the Steelers. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I feel good about their quarterback play. Haven't felt good about it since all the beginning. Roethlisberger. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think their quarterback play could deceive them or 
It could surprise them. What if I told you J.J. McCarthy ended up in Pittsburgh? <sighs> I still think that's... <sighs> Dang. What, 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 what do you like about that? Well, they need a new OC, right? They had to get rid of Matt Canada. What do you like about it, though? What I JJ like about McCarthy. it is that I think that Pittsburgh and Michigan are very blue collar teams. Very similar styles. Right. I think okay. the defenses are are comparable there. Tomlin's never really elevated a quarterback, right? I mean, he had Ben Roethlisberger from Bill Cowher. Mm-hmm. He hasn't drafted or developed a quarterback yet. And I think JJ McCarthy, his experience in Big Ten country with that style of play, better wide receivers than he's had at Michigan, too. I think that would be I a think good the style is a good match. Yeah, a good mix you. between they can take enough off his plate, but also give him enough opportunities to showcase his arm talent with their receivers. So you're 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 out on Kenny Pickett. I have been out on Kenny Pickett the whole time. Mm-hmm. Thought he was a one year wonder at Pitt. Yeah, understood why they had to take him, but local 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 situation practice you know, the same base. place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's turn our attention to the NFC. Strick. This is where I think a lot of the ooh <laughs> comes into play. Bucks Eagles, eh, not a whole lot of that. Kind of an Adamican Sioux Bowl. But not really. The Niners get the one seed. They looked really good for, you know, 75, 80% of the season. What is the bigger, I don't say conspiracy theory, but which matchup do you think the NFL is happier with um, the result? Cowboys Packers in the Mike McCarthy Bowl or Lions Rams in the Jared Goff Bowl? I, I've got to say Lions Rams. Matthew Stafford Bowl, too, obviously. I've got to say that one. You know, two quarterbacks, it's a story you can tell. Mm-hmm. It's it's one you can kind of get behind if you're L.A. or if you're Detroit or even if you're just an everyday watcher of just mm-hmm. lover of football. It's one you can get behind because there's a story that, that involves both of them, right? Mm-hmm. One that they didn't believe in, but one that took his team to another level mm-hmm. that you didn't believe in. Right. One who took you to the promised land and then kind of has fallen fallen off a little bit, but, you know, Kind of got him there, but mm-hmm. not not the way. Found something with Pu- uh, uh, Pu- uh, Puka Nakua. Puka Who did get the record. They did play. I saw got it. it so. I saw it. And a touchdown, too. Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's um, that's something. There's storylines in that that I could mm-hmm. like. Now, obviously, here's the deal, I think, on the McCarthy Bowl. I think this is a, a major test for Coach McCarthy. And I think it's one that if he loses that game, he's gone. That's a tough, tough thing because they just won the division, right? They yep. unseated the Eagles. I think, I think Dak has had his best year. CD Lamb's taken a step forward, but I think you're onto something. I think Jerry's over his shoulder saying, "Win or else." Yeah, I think it's to that point. You, you know, yes, you've done well. We're twenty something years now, mm-hmm. um, plus of not going deeper. Mm-hmm. Well, thirty something from the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think they're looking at this as like, okay, now there's not there's not much else. I've given you everything. Mm-hmm. You've got offense, defense, and you can't get me past your old team. And they're not even nowhere near. It, like I think if he loses his game, I think it's trouble. He's out. A lot of the numbers slant Dallas's way. They have the best player on the field in Micah Parsons, Parsons. Dak Prescott, C.D. Lamb. I still think Pollard can be a weapon. Pretty good line still. But Green Bay's playing with nothing to lose. They get to go on the road, not the pressure of being at home. Um, Jordan Love has been quietly on a heater over the last six weeks or so. This would be a big coming out moment for him, I think, on the road against a Dallas defense that's good but susceptible to the deep ball. If those receivers step up and they get anything at all from the run game... Can we get Toure signing? Please, (laughs) sign me up for that. Can we get a Toure signing? Green Bay, just being able to play with house money, you kind of chuck it deep and say, mm. okay, Dallas, pressure's on you. You're at home. We know Jerry's watching. Dak, prove it. You haven't done it yet. I don't hate Green Bay's position right What's now. What's the ref crew? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's the what, question. What crew, what crew is on the game? That's the one you need to watch for. Because ultimately, um, if you're going to chuck it deep, you want pass uh, interference Ron calls. Torbert? His crew. We need to look at. We need to look at Ron Torbert's uh, playoff history against teams. Let's um, see. What is his history? I'm trying to think here. Do you guys know? Okay. Okay. So Ron Torbert has been assigned to this week's Cowboys game against the Packers. Torbert and his crew have penalized home teams 
more often than the visitors. Mm -hmm. And like most refs in the NFL these days, has his fair share of tumultuous contests. Mm -hmm. So neither fan base is happy with this one. Uh, yeah. Nalibu, go Pat, go, she says. Um, the, and, and you just heard it. Now, if you see it, ooh, if you see it, a lot of, uh, if you see a lot of deep balls, all uh, pause. If you see, <laughs> if, if you see a lot of situations where there's penalty flags flying all over the place against mm -hmm. the home team, then Ron you, heard it, you heard it right here. Torbert. You heard it right here on 93.7 The Ticket on the block. That's where you heard it. I want to focus back on that Lions Rand game for a second, too, okay. because what would be more painful? For Detroit to lose at home to Matthew Stafford or Matthew Stafford to go on the road and lose to his old team? He never really wanted to leave Detroit. I think they still like him, but which is more painful? Um, I think it would be painful and not for the way that you're saying. I think it would be painful because of golf. Mm. I think I think he would feel it more than if Stafford outplays him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think I think that would hurt more because he's the guy that they specifically went after, targeted to remove you out because they didn't feel you had the moxie to get it done. Mm -hmm. And then he comes into your house and basically does like Rick James does to uh, Eddie Murphy. Buck your couch! Buck <laughs> your couch! <laughs> your white couch! With dirty shoes. That's what I... That's what I... <laughs> that's, that's like what it really would be. He comes in and just has dirty shoes, doesn't take them off, walks in... Sits down at your at your table, eats your, your cereal couch. on your white couch. <laughs> eats your cereal, your best cereal, Captain mm -hmm. Crunch or whatever it is. What is your best cereal? What's your oh, favorite? Man, I, I haven't eaten cereal in years now. Nah, never mind. But Text I will say, know. I used to really like Captain Crunch. I did like uh, the uh, the whatever the toast crunch. Oh, whatever. cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. I used mm. to like that. Apple Jacks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Couple of those respect, yeah. Cinnamon Toast Crunch now then. is up there. What is it called? The uh, Lucky Charms. Oh yeah, yeah. You know they came out with Lucky Charms just the marshmallows. No. Yeah, just the marshmallows. Just I used the marshmallows. to always pick. I used to pick the other things out and throw them away and just eat the marshmallows. <laughs> I was a little kid. I was a bad little kid. I always tried to save it so where I have like a spoonful or two of marshmallows left. Not yeah. go overboard when I'm eating it, but save the marshmallows for the end. Mm. What's your favorite cereal out there, uh, text line? Talk to your boy. 402-464-568. What's your best cereal? Like the one where you literally just salivate when you walk in and, and then you get mad if there's not enough milk. Okay. Never had that happen. I have never had that happen because I'm a dry cereal guy. Are you really? I'm a dry cereal guy. Never. Yeah. I floodgate the milk and I've <sighs> got to get it while it's still crunchy. And see, that's why I don't do it. I'm such a slow yeah. eater that all the cereal, cereal gets soggy for me, Stricky. <laughs> wow. Um, while we wait for people's favorite cereals to, to roll in here. What's your favorite? Um, you did also ask about... Cream of wheat. Oh, sorry. I'm just talking. I'm, I'm over here. I'm, I'm wheat, reminiscing right now. If cream of wheat is anybody's favorite cereal, <laughs> legitimately, send us a picture of the box of cream of wheat in your pantry, and you get $15 to the upside bar in life. Oh, man. Yes. Cream of wheat, bro. I used to go in on the cream. I liked it thick, too. Okay. Just put a little, just enough milk on it to kind of just give it a, but I liked it real thick. I didn't want the creamy part. I want the thick. The weedy part. The weedy. Respect. Yeah. Um, You asked about Dak Prescott, mm, right? Mm -hmm. MVP. Big Bank Hank says Talk MVPs win home and away. So I Ooh. assume he rules Dak out for being more successful at home than on the road. And then 0017 says, absolutely not. Can't win the big one. We'll lose to the Packers on Sunday. Do you blame Dak or do you blame Mike McCarthy for last year's game where Dak slid down with no timeouts left? Do you remember that? Who, who gets the blame for that? Is that a McCarthy thing? Was that a Kellen Moore thing? Is that a Dak I mean, thing? But here's the thing, right? Should you even been in that situation? There is that. So ultimately, yeah, no, you can't blame him for that. But should you have been in that situation? How is Kellen Moore doing? Uh, Kellen Moore's with the Chargers. And I have the standings. So the Chargers this year scored 
346 points, which was third in their division. They in the AFC, they outscored six win Tennessee. They did outscore Pittsburgh, uh, who made the playoffs. They outscored New England and they outscored New York. So they end up, what would that be? Uh, 12th, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 12th out of 16 AFC teams. Not great. Mm. But okay. also, it's, it's the Chargers, yeah. right? Like, Yeah, what, do, do they need to blow it up? Is it time? The Titans are blowing it up. Yeah. They are super blowing it up. But I think the Chargers might have to. Keep, keep her hey, around. What are, you, what are you watching for right now with the Commanders? Who they're going to sign as a coach or what they're going to do in the offseason? Because they got over $70 million. Like in cap room, I think they make a run at Belichick, but I hope the enemy gets that. They gotta job. do a trade. I don't think they. He's on contract. I don't think they can unless they fire him. I think, but do they fire him for Belichick? If if, if I'm for... if I'm the Patriots, I make him pay for it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you I, I really think want so. him, right? Okay. But that's Just why think. that's why what the the Titans are doing is a little weird too, right? They didn't try to find a trade for Mike Vrabel. They said it was going to take too long. So they just fired him. <laughs> like, what the heck? Yeah. Yeah, Washington's in an interesting spot. We still haven't had a repeat winner in the NFC East for like 19 years. Does that suck for your boy? Which um, boy? Your boy. Billy, be, uh, be enemy. Oh, Eric Bien-Ami? Like, he yeah. literally took the job, went over there, and then now... Well, I'm sure he kind of knew that going in, right? I mean, no uh-huh. one thought Ron Rivera was super safe, but I wonder if he almost took that job thinking, hey, I can, I can be the internal around. candidate. Ah. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, text line, let us know that as well, right? Where do you think some of these head coaches end up? Where does Rabel go? Uh, do Rivera, Reich, Smith get jobs? A couple serial responses here before uh, we throw it to break. Uh, PCAT says, Captain Crunch, Reese's Puffs, and Frosted Mini Wheats. Ooh, Frosted Mini Wheats. Negative. No way. I hated that because it was one side. The one side, it tastes good. The other side was mad. So, no. Amen. Um, But... The uh, other one he said was what? He had uh, Captain Crunch. I'm I'm rolling. Reese's Puffs. No, no. Reese's Pieces. I'm I'm, I'm yeah. rolling, but I couldn't yeah. do the puffs. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I was hit or miss on the puffs. Yeah, the I chocolate was a little strong. Sometimes yeah. the peanut butter was a little too strong. Yeah. Nah, so, uh, and then eighty fifty three said I was sick last week and was craving yes, cream of wheat. Hadn't had it for thirty years. It was so good. Oof. If you have a picture of the box of cream of wheat in your pantry, send it. And you get 15 bucks to upside bar and line. Hey, listen. Cool hand Luke. Yes, sir. Boo Bear. Hey, okay. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just just kind of just a little different. Just a little different look. Boo Bear. Yeah. Boo Berry was so much better than Count Chocula. It was. Boo Berry was the best one. It was, mm-hmm. yo, man. I love that. Uh, Cigar Guy says Cocoa Pebbles. No. So you get the chocolate milk when you get done. Pebbles. Fruity all the way. Fruity all the way. Mm. No way. Talk to me, Cocoa. Tricky. No. Cigar Guy. I love you, man. You're you're a great guy here. We love you, and and you're chiming in. But no, fruity. We're going fruity pebbles. What about grape nuts? Grape negative. <laughs> you were eating healthy like that as a kid. <laughs> no way. Grape nuts. Sorry for your childhood. My God. <laughs> Maybe when I got to my thirties or forties, grape nuts. But no way. When I was a kid. Gino's on your page. He says, without a doubt, the two best are fruity pebbles and cinnamon toast crunch. Oh, no question. Those are no out there. question. They hit. David Fullerton says, no cream of wheat could only find oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal. I mean, I get it. <laughs> Cigar guy. My dad was from Alabama. I grew up on grits. <laughs> yes. Yes. Listen. Cigar guy is my guy. Back to being your guy? My, he's my guy. Okay. Let me tell you. I am a Southern guy. I'm from Alabama too, my, by the way, Cigar Guy. So I'm from, uh, now listen, don't, 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 don't not be my guy anymore because <laughs> I'm from Auburn and Opelika. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So me, being from there, man, we used to make what we call goulash. Okay. He may not be familiar with my style of goulash, but it's when I take the sausage or the bacon and I crumple it up. And I sprinkle it on the grits, and I put jelly, grape jelly, in there. So some people okay. in the South put sugar in their grits, but okay. I don't. Okay. And then I put eggs in it, and I goulash it up, just hmm. mix it all in. And it looks like a hodgepodge of just nothing but uh, but oh, so good. Stricky's goulash. 
you try take, it sometime. You, you take the jelly out, I'm buying. Oh, I'm sorry. You see Sten? Kellen and Sutherland. Who, Kellen? Yo, okay. you did hit, you did touch a nerve with that one. You hit a nerve with that one, my brother. 75-63, too. Malto meal. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was one of the old school joints right there. It was either it was, actually I like Malto meal a little bit more than cream of wheat. I gotta go. Uh, you, you hit a nerve with me. Okay, okay. But yeah, goulash. Um, Sten says honeycomb, fruity pepper, ah. and Scooby Doo cereal. Ah. Similar to like the charms. Honeycomb. Ah, nah. I couldn't get with it. Honeycomb is my wife's I favorite. Ate them, That's but her I go-to. Couldn't get with it. Okay. Couldn't get with it. Uh, Axel Foley put sugar on his grape nuts. Okay. Well, I get. Well, yeah, of course. Because it was mm-hmm. terrible otherwise. Okay. Um, cigar guy follows up on the grits. I put butter on the bottom of the bowl, grits on top. Um, so the butter melts and then a bunch of salt on top of the grits. Ooh, you did salt with it. Okay. Tricky. I need good. a good, like, helping of grits. The only grits I've ever had are just not for me. Really? I want good grits. I want to try good grits. And, you know, you can't eat the instant. See, that's part of the problem. Like, people going by the instant grits, you gotta, you gotta cook the, cook the grits. Like, it's got to take 30 minutes to an hour. Mm. Like you got to do it like from scratch, like from the grit to the, from the root to the tuta. That's how you got to do it with the grits. You can't just come in and throw it in there and hope in a minute you got some good grits. It don't work like that. Last cereal then, Nyla Boo. I love Negative. Crispix. Negative. Boo. Crispix are good for puppy chow. End of story. End of story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when you want to give the puppy a treat. You throw them Crispix. Yeah. Garbage. We'll we take, still love you now, the boo. We do. We'll take a break. <laughs> Keep your favorite cereals, your least favorite cereals, your best grits recipes coming as well here. We'll get to those. Maybe talk uh, some sports when we get back. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and erector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Have you been accused of a crime? Is your freedom at stake? At Liberty Law Group, we are committed to the defense of liberty for those accused. Facing criminal charges is stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. At Liberty Law Group, we believe in treating every person with respect, compassion, and understanding. When legal troubles are keeping you up at night, trust Liberty Law Group to fight your battles. To learn more, call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 10th and P or at 1501 Center Park Road. My dream was to work in commercial banking, but it required a college degree and I didn't have one. I found out that Doan had classes for adult learners on the Lincoln campus and online. So I earned my bachelor's degree and five months later, I landed my dream job. I decided to continue my education and now I'm working on my MBA at Doan. For me, the donut experience has been life-changing. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that 
first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up, Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Against Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play It Against Sports at 48th and Vine. WWE Friday Night Smackdown returns to Lincoln. January 12th, 645 p.m. Pinnacle Bank Arena. Let's go down right now. See Rey Mysterio, L.A. Knight, Bobby Lashley, The Street Profits, Charlotte Flair, EO Sky, Carlito, and more. It's WWE's Friday Night Smackdown in Lincoln, January 12th. Tickets start at $25 and on sale now. Ticketmaster. Concrete Industries, a Nebco company, has immediate job openings for precast production laborers. Concrete Industries offers great pay, health benefits, 401k, a wellness program, holidays, and paid time off. Apply today to earn a starting pay of $20 per hour and a $1,500 hiring bonus. Concrete Industries is hiring all experience levels and offers on-the-job training. Start your career today as a precast production laborer. Visit ConcreteIndustries.com. Hi, Sean Callahan here of HuskerOnline.com, inviting you to join us here on 93.7 The Ticket every Saturday morning now in our new time. We're on from 8 to 9 with the weekly Husker Online radio show. We'll give you the latest in recruiting. We'll talk about what's going on with both football, basketball, and we'll probably share a few stories from the inside. It's every Saturday morning right here on 93.7 The Ticket. It's the Husker Online radio show from 8 to 9 a.m. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. We're back uh, during on the cereal. It's on the block, not on the cereal. <laughs> on We're the talking cereal. cereal. Um, Austin Norman, Eric Strickland. What got your eyes, Tricky? Troy and Lincoln. Troy, what you got? Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. Yeah, and he said multiple meal was nuts. Was the nuts? Was the nuts? I don't. I think that means it went nuts. Like he loved it. Like drove him. <laughs> Did it drive you there's nuts? Two ways to, there's Pause. two ways to interpret that. Pause. <laughs> I just think yeah, we need an interpretation, many. Troy. Like, <laughs> was Malto Meal good or was Malto Meal bad? <laughs> yeah, I've never had Malto Meal, actually. Well, now Ryan P comes in and says, I have no clue what Crave is. Crave what is. What was that? <sighs> okay, so you know those little like tubes that have like chocolate in them, but they're kind of like the weird cookie look like straws oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of like that but cereal form Ooh. can't do it Cra- crave is fine okay 4725 life cereal negative i'm a fan are you serious i'm a fan the regular life what is about good. it tell me cinnamon the cinnamon life is okay the regular life is good like <laughs> it's good <laughs> especially dry right it's one of those that would get soggy yeah. way too quick but it's sweet enough Without being overbearingly sweet, right? It's not like I'm and don't like a pit in my stomach afterwards, but it but it, it hits the sweet taste buds. <laughs> ooh, I just yeah. ooh. ooh. Um we maybe have, life the game. Life cereal is better than life the board game. The board game life was awesome. It was awesome. That's how good life cereal is, though. Terrible. Let's go. Uh grape nuts like eating gravel. That is horrible. <laughs> I mean, ooh. <laughs> I mean, listen, Brad, frosted flakes, my boy, that's like Tony the Tiger, that's just like a given. But it's one of those ones, too, that you cannot let the milk get into the, the Frosted Flakes. Because right. it's, ooh, after it gets too soggy, mm-hmm. it's terrible to me. Frosted Flakes as your favorite cereal is like saying pepperoni is your favorite pizza. Right. Right. It's so It's just, okay, it's playing. It's, it's just cool. there. It's yeah. cool. It, it burns. It fills your belly, but it, it, don't move, it don't move me like that. Right? No, not the slightest. Um, got a couple recommendations for grits, but Ben says no self-respecting Southerner uses instant grits. 
Exactly. It's, it's for people north that? of the Mason Dixon line. Ben said it. Yeah, Ben. You, 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 you're my man. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. If you use instant grits, you just don't know what grits really are. You've got to cook them things for a half hour plus. How, mostly mo- more close to an hour. Like it takes a long time to cook good grits. How far Have west- you ever seen that movie? Um, My Cousin Vinny. I know what you're talking about. I've never seen it. So my cousin Vinny, he's doing an investigation. Okay. And he, you know, he, he's not a real lawyer. <laughs> well, he's a lawyer, but he's like your podunk lawyer that just kind of got by and got his law degree. Mm-hmm. And he's going down and, and one of his, his cousins gets arrested and he's doing an investigation. And part of it is he's talking about grits and he learns that grits needs to really be cooked for over an hour. Okay. And the other guy, basically he was, he was able to contrast the fact that they didn't get the grits cooked in, in a long enough time. So they were lying to him in some form or fashion. Mm. I know you guys have seen my cousin Vinny classic movie. Go okay. So how far West can you go before you're like an outsider to grits? Like is Louisiana and Arkansas, like as far West as like southern grits go i mean it's 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 a different thing to it like, man. is texas a grits place oklahoma i mean not they, really they eat, not really they don't eat it like like true mississippi and alabama louisiana don't even do it to the level that like mississippi alabama maybe even tennessee west virginia might even do some grits i think okay. west virginia okay might. but There's ohio's not maryland's not i don't think so man I don't know maybe do maryland Probably not. They don't to do grits. We'll have to ask DP and Jay. Yeah, that. DP don't know nothing about DP. Don't know nothing about grits. Crossover DP. Tell me about grits. You don't know. Uh, we have Crispix are so much better than checks. We have Reese's Puffs. Gabe. Checks are horrible, my boy. Hey, Gabe. Okay, fifteen bucks to the Upside Bar and Lounge is yours. He sends in the Did picture. The picture of cream of wheat. No I got it here, Tricky. Gabe, on the text line. No way, Gabe. Yep. With berries on top. No. Those are raspberries and blueberries on top of your cream of wheat. That's where where is Gabe at? Uh, it would be uh, eight zero five three. Oh yeah, how about that? I see you, Gabe. Oh yeah, no, that's just the way. Yeah, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe, did you put berries on your cream of wheat or but, just have the bowl? But it's crazy though. They got the two minute cook time on it. They ate the same cream of wheat, and we used to cook when we was kids. But you still got it though. I'm sorry. It looks like mashed potatoes. What? It looks like those instant mashed potatoes. The no. picture on the box looks like instant mashed potatoes. Boo. Boo who you. <laughs> I just think it's what it looks like. This is what you're going to be feeding baby Husker, uh, baby uh, Herbie. Baby Herbie. Baby Herbie when he gets to about two years old. He's going to love cream of wheat. Don't we'll, hide we'll it. Don't try to keep it from him either. Baby, Her- uh, baby Herbie's going to want cream of wheat when he's a kid. Okay, we're going to skip over some of these cereal ones because we have some interesting ones. Headhunter says, if you love grips, do you eat hominy? Hominy? Isn't what, that like beans? What, what is hominy? I have never heard of that. Hominy is a food produced from dried maize kernels that have been treated with an alkali huh. in a process called nixtamalization. He's taking me deep here. But uh, my oh, guy- it makes... Oh, so... um. Hominy. hominy is ground up, so if you're making Mexican food, it makes masa. It makes dough. Oh, no. Hmm. no. Um, Kellen in Sutherland, when I ordered grits in Alabama, I got called a Yankee. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no, but here's the crazy thing. Let me tell you this, though. Now, so, so listen, we were so creative, Austin, mm-hmm. when we were kids. Mm-hmm. We would make up stuff. If you have ever, if you're a real Southerner and you've been on and you're, and you're listening right now, if you've ever had cheese toast or sugar toast, cheese toast is it just Cheetos? Cheese, sh- cheese toast, where you had the old, see, like we used to have the old big super block of cheese. Oh, yeah. The big, yeah. you know, project. I'm familiar, cheese. yeah. And we had, it was tough to cut, but you was able to cut these big, thick slices and we would put it on there and put it in the oven. Yeah. Or we would sprinkle, like, put, we put four little sticks of butter in each corner and we would sprinkle salt, I mean, sugar on it. And we would put it in there and we would have toasted sugar toast Mm. off the chain. Now, there's something else that we used to do. We used to do all kinds of stuff, man. Like, 
just little creative ways that we would come up. But one of my best was baloney. Like you would make the sombrero balonies. Sombrero balonies. Where you cook them and you fry the bologna. Oh, yeah, they, they kind and of they curl come up, up and yeah, make them yeah, some yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we would put like mustard or mayonnaise and have, oh man, that's the best stuff, bro. That's, that's when we were kids. We used to come up with all kinds of ways to make food. Uh, Axel Foley, born and raised in Nebraska, I had cheese toast. Yeah. Pork Chop says, oh, yeah, Strick, I remember toast with some butter and cinnamon sugar on it. Yeah. Yes. Cinnamon sugar was what I had. Not oh, just yeah. sugar, with cinnamon sugar. You had both mm-hmm. cinnamon and sugar. Yep. Yeah. We would just do sugar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, cool hand Luke, and there's one other person, uh, 7092 says sugar smacks for cereal with the uh, the frog dude, the as frog, the mascot. Yep. sugar smacks. Yeah, they did hit different. This had that little, like, kind of you know, uh, syrupy with yeah, like kernel y taste to it, corn yeah. and honey, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. uh huh. Mm-hmm. I like it. Okay, you guys are killing the game today. Okay, rank these Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries, Peanut Butter Captain Crunch. Captain Crush Crunch Berries first, peanut butter second, and then the regular. My wife doesn't like the smell of the Crunch Berries. I've had to stop getting it. Was that when she was pregnant, though? No, before. I haven't had Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries since before she was pregnant. She just doesn't like the smell. Uh, I, I don't know why. Huh. Really? That's odd. That's odd. I, I thought they were kind of... That's different. I never would have thought that because I love the taste of those berries. Yeah. I would literally just pull those out and eat those by themselves. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, Good stuff. 2655. And Stricky said cheese toast. I said Cheetos as a joke, right? I know what cheese toast <laughs> is. Um, <laughs> love the trip down memory lane. Had all this. Add the white bread as a bun for the burger that turned into a white film by the middle of eating it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're talking about the 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 uh, Eddie Murphy... Um, <laughs> The I ain't no McDonald's. The, yeah, McDonald's. You know, just just the freaking <laughs> greasy burger, and it just melts mm-hmm. on you, and then it melts to the top of your mouth. mouth yeah, it's stuck back. Th- yeah, it's stuck uh, on yep. the roof of your can't mouth. Yeah, it. you can't get mm-hmm. enough of that. Uh, classic. Uh, Headhunter. Oh yeah, fried bologna is still served in my house. My wife hates the smell in the house and fried spam sandwiches. <laughs> no, I couldn't get with the spam sandwiches. No, I'm, I'm with you, but I couldn't do it. I haven't had spam that much, but I am a spam guy to my core because there's the spam plant in the spam museum in Austin, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Look at you. Yeah. I visited that. It, uh, one of the Hormels. Look at, look, you're just, you're just all over the place. Look at what you. is a crunch berry? Exactly. Ryan asks, what's a crunch berry? He's what kind of question crunch is that? Berries? Oh, wow. Look up Captain Crunch with crunch I berries. I can't they're, believe that. They're the circles that are what? Red, green, blue, and purple. Mm-hmm. You get the mix of colors sometimes. Yeah, and they then you have amplify. the kernels that look mm-hmm. flat. Mm-hmm. So they got circles and then they flat kernels. Yeah. Yep. Uh, cookie crisp. Are you a cookie crisp guy? No. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Now, I could dip cookies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Into the milk. Sure. But I couldn't eat the cookies in the milk. Even with milk, they were still so hard. I thought yeah. I was going to break my teeth on those yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, no, it didn't, it didn't get soggy enough for me. Um, did you, did your school serve flying saucers, fried bologna, scoop of mashed potatoes, cheese on top? Oh no, never had that. Uh -uh. We always just got pizza and burgers and the burgers were horrible. Oh yeah. They're like always soy burgers. (laughs) They weren't real burgers. Right. We, we, yeah, we, we, we never really got, but the best was when I would, when, when we had open campus finally Mm -hmm. in Mm -hmm. high school and we were able to leave campus and go get Man, that was the best. Ooh, that was a fun time. Lincoln Lutheran's policy was everyone had to return the form, even if their parents didn't want them going to open lunch. Everyone had to return the form. Took us like two and a half months for my senior class to get open lunch. Really? Yeah. Two, but did you like it? I only went like once. But you guys didn't really have food. Pla- like at Bellevue West, we had stuff all around us. Like we had we the hit. Runza. We had like a taco in. Mm-hmm. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. A little Caesars, but that wasn't. Yeah, be quick enough. Shout out to Mission Junior High too. We used to just go to a little pizza spot right down the street. They ain't even there no more. Dairy Queen, all that stuff, man. Pff, off the chain. All right, Strick, you gave your goulash recipe before. I'm going to put Dave and Fullerton on blast for this. What's he got? Dave says I put Velveeta cheese on my cinnamon rolls and no toast with jelly. Freaking way! I've been called crazy because of this. Uh, yeah, I would think so, Dave. Yeah, Dave. Velveeta, um, come, Dave. 
what? That totally kills the the taste of the cinnamon rolls. It totally destroys the taste of the cinnamon yeah. rolls to me. That would destroy it. Velveeta cheese with jelly, cinnamon rolls, toast, and jelly. Ooh, no. Nah. There's nah, creativity no, my that they're doing too nasty. much. Yeah, that's that's a little extra on that one for me. Yeah, I'll, t- <laughs> I'll eat Stricky's goulash all day before I have Velveeta <laughs> on my cinnamon rolls. Let's go, Huskers. Yeah. GBR, man. Let's go. A few hours away, man. I need to go down there and get it cracking. Maybe I'll take a couple jumpers. May as well. Let's take a break. Let's get to the crossover after this. Working at Continental in Lincoln isn't a job. It's a career. And right now, they've raised wages again, and they're hiring for production operators at $24.62 per hour, which grows to $28.97 per hour within three years. Skilled trade positions now start at $33.36 per hour, with opportunities to make more based on certifications. Continental also has salary jobs available and great benefits, plus medical and prescription costs at very low premiums. Dental, vision, and life insurance are offered at no premium cost to the associates with increased bonuses and vacation for new hires. To learn more or apply, go to ContinentalJobs.com with keyword Lincoln. Come work at Continental today. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. A lot of work goes into making Nebraska, Nebraska. Keeping it green. Helping it thrive. Making it fun. Everything that goes into caring for our outdoors, from waters to wildlife, plays a big role in making Nebraska home. Learn how we help conserve our state's natural resources at OutdoorNebraska.org. Paid for by Nebraska Game and Parks. Aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. Ironhide Construction is hiring. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. John Henry's would like to remind you, if you haven't already, to unhook your outdoor hoses and check faucets for leaks so your pipes don't freeze. As the official plumber of the Huskers, you know who to call when a plumbing issue arises. From frozen pipes to clogged drains, we can help you protect your home this winter. Give John Henry's a call today to schedule at 435-5555. John Henry's Plumbing. Heating in air. WWE Friday Night Smackdown returns to Lincoln. January 12th, 645 p.m. Pinnacle Bank Arena. Let's go down right now. See Rey Mysterio, L.A. Knight, Bobby Lashley, The Street Profits, Charlotte Flair, EO Sky, Carlito. It's WWE's Friday Night Smackdown in Lincoln, January 12th. Tickets start at $25 and on sale now. Ticketmaster. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet and fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402 402- 560-6197. Big box stores are tempting for buying equipment for your high schooler in sports or for yourself in your sports leisures. But buying new is awfully expensive. Why not go somewhere with new and used options? Play It Again Sports is quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And it's more than baseball, softball, and golf. They also have equipment for disc golf, fitness, hockey, and more. Plus, they're always buying products. Bring your gear you're done with and get trade money on the spot. Play it against sports at 48th and Vine. Start 2024 off on a high note by loading up on meat and more at the Mercado by certified Piedmontese at 84th and Havelock. 
This week's special is through January 9th. Is spend $40 and you'll get a free 14 ounce ribeye, limit of three, and $1.50 off all KC Canning Company products. Plus, don't forget there are two new locations now open at 30th and Yankee Hill in Lincoln and 168th and Maple in Omaha. Get to the Mercado today for the best meat in town. Get rid of pesky critters once and for all with Bats to Rats. Their expert team is here to help you reclaim your home. No more sleepless nights caused by crawling critters or flapping wings. Bats to Rats ensures a safe environment for every family member. Check the website at BatsToRats.com for amazing offers. And if you mention this ad, you'll receive $10 off your initial inspection cost. Don't allow uninvited guests to take over your home. Trust Bats to Rats for a peaceful and rodent-free living space. If you're not going to Memorial Stadium for a home game and don't have any travel plans for away games, there's a great place in Omaha to catch the action. The Inner Rail Food Hall. There's plenty of space. The Backstretch Bar has amazing game specials on game days. $15 Blue Moon and Bud Light pitchers, $6 margaritas, and $6 Moscow mules. And if you're hungry, take in some of their great options from their game day pizza specials. Do football game day right in the Inner Rail Food Hall in Exarban Village in Omaha. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7.30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7.30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM Firth, 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to On the Block with Strick and Austin on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Here we go on the block. One final time, Austin Norman, Eric Strickland, joined now by Jay Foreman. Jay, are you a grits guy? Oh, yeah. How, oh, you, yeah. how, how do you cook them? What, what's with them? Yeah, what's the difference between Minnesota grits and Southern grits? Maryland grits, Southern grits. Like, is Maryland grits country? Is uh, it, depends. It, Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, my my uh, my family is from Meridian, Mississippi. So uh, there, 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 there it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, then, and then my dad's side is from the DC. So uh-huh. um, I like mine, um, like right on the cusp. I don't like them soup. Like like I do soupy. not. I do not like them runny. Yeah. But I don't like them where they're so Hard. thick, where it mm. feels like it's gonna hit your gut. So I want it right in the middle. I like just the amount enough of butter, mm. salt, and pepper. Now, I will throw some sugar in there. Mm, I've right. had it with grits. I've had it. You know, when you're in Maryland, you, you know, they throw that fresh crab meat in there. So, I, mm. I've had it every single way. You oh, so, so some people do shrimp. Do yeah, stuff shrimp. Like that. yeah you, I've had shrimp, and then I also had the, the blue crab in there as well. You have not had it every single way, because I highly doubt you have had. Have you ever had a goulash? Goulash. Goulash. Tricky goulash. Let me hear it. Goulash. You gotta okay. say it like that. Goulash. Okay, I, get, I see it. Let me tell me what's in it. Either you can put, you can either get sausage or yeah. bacon. Yeah, break I've it up. It. I've had it. I've why had why it not both? You Just can one? do both. Okay. Yeah. okay. Put it in there. Butter. Yep. Um, eggs. We put the eggs okay. in there. And then we throw the grape jelly in there. Ooh. That gives you the sugar. Yeah. And, ha, la, yeah. La, 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 and mix it all together. See, I have had and it. And you with, get that crunch with the yeah. little. I but I don't like it hard a, like you. I like it just just yeah. right. See, I, I had it everything it. that, but I've never had it with the jelly in there. Uh, goulash. Yeah, that, that might be on it, it's on Yeah. Hitting. Jay, you need to try that. Yeah. I'm telling you, that thing hit different. Yeah, that, yeah you got me a tight. That thing hit different. Yeah. It looked it look funny. But it tastes good. But it tastes good. Yeah. Someone's saying apple butter and brown sugar in the grits, but we do have to throw this. Okay, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's it right that. there. Dave and Fullerton says this will change your world. Oh gosh, cinnamon rolls, toast mm. and jelly, Velveeta cheese. Have you ever seen airplane? <laughs> you ever seen airplane? Yeah, I've seen. When he said that, and then you had the you had the spot where they all said, <laughs> "Yeah," they all hit their forehead. That's what I did when when, when he said that. Yeah, I don't know about it, but uh, I'll try. I'm all. I'm down I'm to try down it for every try. Some, that's the one I, I can't do it. Yeah, that that, that listen. I'm okay, bit, Velveeta Jay, cheese and let me tell you. Little, let me tell you a little, a little story. Too rich for me. Let me tell you a little story. All right, let me hear, holla at me. Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. Southern style. Young man, six seven years old. Mm-hmm. Grandma, mom, hook, yeah. you know, you know. Yeah, hook him up. Hooked it up. Yeah. 
all the food is set out on the table <laughs> in the dining room. Uh-huh. I'm going in there, young man, to get my plate. I see some little jiggly things moving in there. Mm -hmm. And my mind, so this is what this would do to my mind if, with cinnamon rolls. I'd never be able to eat cinnamon rolls the same. So I'm saying mm -hmm. this story for this reason. I go and get a little bit of everything, including the little shimmy, yeah, yeah. shimmy thing. It looked real tasty to me. I go to eat it. Looks like Jello, right? It looked like Jello in my mind. Yeah, I'm looking for that sweet thing, mm -hmm. but it was cranberry sauce. Oh yeah, it meant I cannot to this it day you up. for the rest of my life. I have never been able to eat cranberry sauce ever. That's crazy since. how things like that can just you won't ever forget it. Well, yeah. I never forget it since I was a kid, and every time I see cranberry sauce or smell it. I guess get, it. yeah, you rem it reminds it you. Reminds yeah, that's me. crazy, man. How your your mind can, can never forget things like that. So yeah, man. That, so that's what that would do to me if yeah. I ate Velveeta with some doggone cinnamon roll. But hey, let me tell you something, man. I had I had never heard of cinnamon rolls and chili. What? I, I mean, until I got here, I need to walk out of here now. I, I'm done. You don't put them together. Are you freaking cin what? Wait, what? Yeah, you do. But I never, I never. You heard put it together yeah. like in the. I, I look. I, don't add. This is not my recipe. It's in Nebraska. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Nebraska. Rick, pump the brakes. Well, that's like that's like Runza to me at first. I could not get so, down with the Runza. Me neither. Until I until tried. I had a good. Until right. I had a fresh one. Then I'm like, okay, it's not something I'm gonna have all the time. But I will partake. I never had chili and cinnamon rolls. I never heard of it until I got here Too on right. the team. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pretty decent. Now that's not how I prefer to eat my chili, and you know that, but. I can get down with it. Really? That that's contrast right. of that spice with the... With yeah, the, but that's that, not that what I, me that's not going to be how I do it all the time. Okay. Yeah. But you can get down with it. I can get down with okay. it. Okay. So I'm willing to try anything. And, and what I'm I saying pretty is... open palate. I'm not going to totally close the door on what he said with the Velveeta cheese and all that. I yeah. ain't, ain't going to do that. Yeah. Hey, listen. I saw a recipe on Instagram. Pork butt cinnamon rolls. They cut the pork butt in half. I'll be on there. They cut it in half. <laughs> they roll it up, and then they put the string around it, smoke it, and then they put the the white stuff oh, on top of it. Oh, God. He said it was hitting. I ain't, I ain't I, You know, I that's know too much work. Down, yeah, I mean, get down on that one, Jay. Yeah. Hey, but Jay, go ahead. I say, speaking of not closing the door, y'all see that plane that had the door blow off? Yeah, oh, yeah, that was crazy. And I sit on exit rows a lot. And could have been you, that, You gotta be that, inside. That scared me. Yeah, don't be that wake you up though. Hey, bro. And, and I sit on the window too. And and you got 20 minutes to get home. And it, we fly 737. <laughs> yeah, a lot. A, yeah, and it's but it's 20 minutes though. So once the thing opens and you kind of get the the mask on, you got 20 minutes. Cause you gotta descend. They were 20 minutes up there cruising altitude. You gotta turn around and go back 20 minutes. It's cold up there. Yeah. Once you get high like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy, they were getting lost. I got mental anguish. Every bro, I that, can't never fly again. I can't sleep at night. Ooh. I'm seeing ghosts. This yeah. man Nick is flying, and he brought that story up. He's spooked. Yeah, yeah, well, that's his own fault. If he brought the story up, yeah, I, I don't know. That might have changed my my decisions on sitting on the exit rows, as far as at the window, because I used to always want to get on the window because I didn't want to be bothered. I like to lean up on the yeah. That wouldn't have been good, leaning up. The worst part to me was that they knew this was an issue, and they had scheduled maintenance, but they said, eh, it'll be fine. We just One won't fly flight. over water. They knew this was a possibility, and they and, flew the plane anyway. And when they grounded the planes, they found loose screws mm -hmm. on multiple planes. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Don't, don't do it to me. 737. See, that's that's justification for you, for you to show yourself in, in the terminal. You know how you usually have people go crazy before? Yeah, you, you get full-fledged crazy. Uh, and I ain't stopping either. Somebody's in the, we got to have some answers smoke. tonight. Yeah. 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 Cause I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm worried my boy. <laughs> no, nah, you be good. Strict. I ain't, I'm glad I ain't got to take no flights anytime soon. Mm. I get time to, you know, kind of get my mind right because mm. I ain't going nowhere for, for the, but good Lord, me and pops planning on going to yeah. Philippines and Thailand. Woo. I can't ride. I got to be on the front side. I can't be in the back. You'll be all right, man. Mm. Listen, all the scheduled maintenances has got pushed got pushed up to everybody getting it yeah. now. Huh? Yeah, everybody. Yeah. yeah, every every plane is getting full fledged maintenance. They're bringing <laughs> in some people, so yeah, I think you'd be good. What we got on old school? 
Uh, well, obviously, college football playoff championship wrap up and thoughts uh, from last night. Some more NFL news, as we've seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tennessee Titans have made a move. Where you know, are they playing chess or checkers? Um, we got Husker game tonight with the with Purdue. I'll be and, in the building. Yeah, Strick will mm-hmm. be in the building. Nick will be there. Um, that'll cover it, man. Because uh, hey, listen. Then also, we're gonna have a special segment for where we're gonna bet to see where Jim Harbaugh ends up next year because mm-hmm. the clock starts. Well, it started yesterday. last night, but it's, mm-hmm. it, it is in full effect. There you go. Uh, all you crazies out there, enjoy your cream of wheat, your Malto meal, all that stuff. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you guys must have been we, hungry. We were talking about that. Yeah, hey, y'all hungry. Cream of wheat, Malto meal. Yeah, I hear you. Jay will pull up the text line. Oh. He'll scroll through it and catch up. Stricky, enjoy the game. We'll talk about it tomorrow. For Strick, I'm Austin. This has been On the Block, old school. DP and Jay comes your way next. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Blecker and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Blecker and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. In every office, there's two types of people. There are those who bring in bagels and those who eat the bagels that someone else brought in. Everybody likes the first person. Be that first person. Weekday mornings at 7:30, you have a chance to win a business box of bagels from Bagels and Joe. All you have to do is shut up, Sipple. Two questions for you, two for Sip. Win and the bagels are yours. Lose, well, you don't want to lose. You lost Monday, you lost Wednesday, you're a loser. Shut up, Sipple. Weekday mornings at 7:30, brought to you by Bagels and Joe. John Henry's would like to remind you if you haven't already to unhook your outdoor hoses and check faucets for leaks so your pipes don't freeze. As the official plumber of the Huskers, you know who to call when a plumbing issue arises. From frozen pipes to clogged drains, we can help you protect your home this winter. Give John Henry's a call today to schedule at 435 John Henry's Plumbing. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats. Dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill, open for lunch and dinner at 10th and P or at 1501 Center Park Road. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, 